Hello all. So I turned this old Dell computer into a crypto mining machine, uh, crypto mining rig, I guess you could say. And uh, I thought I'd show you how I did it. And, and it's really simple. It looks a little Frankenstein-ish because I kind of just got it together, but it works and, and it's making me money. So this one is, uh, is a Dell 9020. Uh, you could also use like a 7020s. They, these are pretty old uh, optiplexes. Hopefully you can see that there. But this one's an Optiplex 9020, which I think came out like seven, eight years ago. And it's uh, got a Core i5 and uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. And I got the hardest part for this was getting a hold of uh, these graphics cards. These are 1660s. Uh, one is a super and the other two are just standard ones. And um, that, that's the hardest part right now. I got these used on eBay for like four fifty a piece. Right now, they're, the prices for these things are crazy. Uh, just like two years ago, they're like one fifty, two hundred dollars for these same graphics cards. But with the prices way up on everything, everybody's uh, in a mad dash to to make money with crypto right now. Basically, um, I got it running right now with Ethermine.org, and uh, you can see my hash rates. For each card, uh, this one, the one is getting 2155. I could get that a little higher. The Super is getting 27 mega hash, and this one's getting 21. I, I can get the, the 1660s up to 23 or so, 24. I'm playing with that before they crash. Uh, right now, I'm just, I gotta go back to doing some testing on that, but that's where it's running right now for a total with these three cards. I'm getting uh, around 70 mega hash right now. So, so basically, all you need to do is you need some risers. These are called risers. These are PCI risers. And they're running with a USB. I got them stuck down there inside of a, an expansion card that can run four cards. So I could add another card on here, which I plan on doing as soon as I get a cheap enough one. And uh, I could add one more with this expansion. And you can see it's plugged in. And uh, let me get another angle here so you can see it better. And it's in the PCI slot right there. You want to get to, get in the one closest to the CPU. I tried it in the in the longer PCI X16 slot right here, and for some reason it didn't want to work in that one. I thought it would, but it, it likes the little one closest to the CPU on this. And uh, but it, it works. One of the things is this is a small form factor computer, so I had to take the little metal bracket off the front, which is just two screws, and I just slid it in. And as you can see, they just got USB that runs around to each card. And uh, to the PCI risers right here, expansion slots. I'll put links in all the descriptions for what I'm using, but th this is really simple to do. And then you're gonna need a, a, a good enough power supply to run. I had this 800 watt power supply, and uh, but uh, if you're gonna buy one, I would get like a thousand watt and uh that's got a lot of plugs for these pins for these eight pins that need to power each card i had i'm using uh, this old 800 watt one and i but i had to get these uh adapters for the pin it only had one on the power supply it only had this one eight pin so i had to use these other adapters to make these run and uh, you don't have to like build a metal thing like this to hold them. You can, I did have them sitting around and just kind of like uh, sitting flat on like a books, you know, like one over here, one and over there, one over there. But it was, you know, it's a little iffy on that. I wanted it to be a little bit more stable so that, you know, if, if the table got shook or something like that, that it would be a little bit more stable. And so I, I kind of just screwed this together. I had some old metal around. So th this metal is not, a, is not necessary. You probably could just, you know, let it just sit around if nobody's going to bump it. However you do that is, is, you know, is a different story. This looks like, you know, like I said, like a little Frankenstein-ish, but it, it works. And um, another thing that you're going to need with these Dells is, is when the, you use a power supply is you need this adapter cable. You need you need it because the power supplies are different, and the, the one that, that comes with it is not going to work. So you need this cable right here, which I'll put a link in the description so you can see what I mean. And uh, and then you unplug. You know you need to plug in that little cable over here from the new power supply. So 
So to summarize, you basically need this right here, which is a, a, a PCI expansion card. And uh, you know, this one's for four. You can't get ones that just have one coming out. And it comes up to these, to these risers and you're gonna need a new power supply and you're gonna need this power supply cable adapter, basically. And, and that'll get you up and running with an old Dell. I mean, it's not very difficult. Uh, one, of the, one of the more difficult things is, is sometimes you plug everything in and it doesn't wanna work when you boot up Windows. Ideally, you just boot up Windows and it'll see everything. But it, it can be a little bit tricky. I mean, I, you, if it doesn't, shut it all down, go through all your plugs, make sure they're seated right, make sure everything's plugged in really good, reseat the, all the connections, and then power it on again and, and see if it works again. I had to do that two or three times. Uh, this card over here caused me uh, some problems, like, like four or five times I had to power it down. I think it's inside of one of these connections you know, because I, I had to reseed it all, get it really seated in all the connections, seed it good, and then you boot, and then it recognizes it, and it sees it, and it's running fine. But that's basically it. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of uh, how I built this old Dell into a crypto mining machine, and it's making me money. Uh, it, some You guys are going to ask how much it's making me uh, right now. As of this date, it's May 20th, and... Uh, uh, crypto's come down, but there's so much chaos on the buying and selling that the gas fees, the fees for buying and selling has gone, has gone up through the roof. So each one of these cards, I think it's probably making me around four or five bucks a day right now. So, I mean, these three are probably making me about $14, $15 a day right now. But as you know, that can vary. Uh, that can come down. The price of crypt, uh, crypto can crash. And uh, there's a lot of variables in that. And, uh, and you're probably going to ask how you set it up to, uh, to do this and I'm just using ethermine.org with uh with the Phoenix miner, which is oh, you could Google. There's a lot of YouTube videos on. It's really simple to do, but uh, I, I might make another video on how you run the software for it. But this is just called Phoenix. It's just a batch program that runs, and you want to join a pool. And I'm joined a pool on Ethermine. I, I'm using Ethermine uh, pool uh, to do that. But if you, that's basically it. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. And that's it.